I genuinely have no idea where to start this match reaction. Sheffield United 3, United 3, horrendous 70 minutes, deservedly 2-0 down. An incredible 15 minutes, goals from Brandon Williams, Mason Greenwood and Marcus Rashford, 3-2 up, out of nowhere. And then we conceded a sloppy, immature, late equaliser. And we come away from the game with a draw, which over the course of the 90 minutes is a fair result. But that was just one of the most confusing games of football you're ever likely to see from United. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. And I'm really not sure where to start with the match review. Because for 70 minutes, we were horrendous. And I mean horrendous. Fred and Pereira in the middle were non-existent. We always knew that McTominay not being in the team would hurt us. I didn't think it would hurt us that bad. United were awful. One of the worst 70 minutes you're ever likely to see from United. But in that second half, Solskjaer changed it. Lingard came on, the shape changed, and then Brandon Williams, out of nowhere, changed the game. All credit to him for what was a fantastic goal from a striker, let alone a fullback. And that gave United momentum. Rashford swinging across for Greenwood. A couple of minutes later, 2 all, literally out of nowhere. We didn't deserve anything at that point. And then we go and score the third, a wonderful counter-attack. James cutting it back for Rashford, 3-2 up. Undeservedly across the 90 minutes, but 3-2 up. All you've got to do now, United, is hold on to a 3-2 lead for 5-10 minutes, see the game out. Of course we can't fucking do that. Such a crap goal. Knocking it around, bouncing about. Looked like, for me, it looked like it hit his arm. I'll be honest. Is what it is. VAR's a terrible system anyway. 3 all, And that game now doesn't... It didn't change anything. At 2-0, Ollie out was trending on Twitter. At 3-2, everybody loved Ollie. And at 3 all, it just leaves more question marks without answering any questions. That performance there today, if you're looking at it from a positive perspective, to have the sort of resolve to come back from 2-0 with the kids basically on the pitch. I think so many players can be embarrassed by their performances, but the likes of Brandon Williams there delivered when United needed to right towards the end. But I'm confused. I keep saying it, but it was a confusing performance. And I said in my video last week, that what Solskjaer needs now is consistency to come into this United team so we can start looking forward and ahead to the future. That was the most inconsistent 90 minutes you're ever likely to see from any football team. Off the back of those wins against Brighton and Partizan, United needed to continue that. But we didn't for large parts of the game. We'll come away from a draw, which I think you can take a positive spin on. But I don't really think it's a positive result in any way, shape or form. And don't twist my words and say that I'm trying to say it's positive because for large parts of that game, it was embarrassing. Sheffield United were playing in triangles and knocking it around. The crowd was cheering every pass at one point. That's how much control Sheffield United were in. But then United came back. Like I'm, I'm going around in circles with this match review because that's what that match was like to watch. It was going around in circles. I'm happy to see that the character was there in the team to come back from 2-0 down. But I'm humiliated that we needed to come from 2-0 down like we did because we hadn't even had a shot on target, I don't think, really, until Brandon Williams banged one in out of nowhere. As I said, it's confusing because, because it ended three, if it ended 3-2 to United or it ended 3-2 to Sheffield United, that would have been definitive. But a draw there doesn't change anything. Doesn't change a thing for me. Solskjaer, so many people are going to be saying Solskjaer out after every sort of negative 20 minutes or half an hour. That's just a, that's the pressure that he is now under. And had that game continued for the full 90 minutes at 2-0 and we lost, the, 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 the shouts would have got a hell of a lot louder. But Solskjaer changed the game with the substitutions. Phil Jones, don't know why it's taken me nearly five minutes to mention his damn name. That better be the last time he plays in a United shirt. He is a pantomime of a defender. Horrendous. I'm guessing Tuanzevi wasn't fit to start and was only fit to come on towards the end. 
I'm going to give Ollie the benefit of the doubt there because other than that, there's no other reason why Jones should have started that game and he should not be starting any more for United ever. Let me know what you think about that match in the comments. 3 all, incredible comeback, horrendous 70 minutes prior to that and a sloppy, sloppy equaliser that did not need to be conceded. Just get rid of it. Just defend for 5-10 minutes. And we couldn't do it. We've done that so often this season, losing points from winning positions. And today we saw that weakness again. That's a pattern which is more than emerged now. But Solskjaer is going to be happy that we didn't lose. He's going to be happy the fact that we came from 2-0 down. And I suppose you do have to be happy at that. But that was an opportunity there for 3-2 to really sort of kick on somewhere from a 2-0 horrendous position out of nowhere to be 3-2 up and then to lose it. Peaks and troughs in that game. Jesus Christ, football is crazy. And that game was mad. Let me know what you think about that game in the comments below. What are the positives you can take? What are the negatives you're taking out of that? For me, Andreas Pereira, horrendous midfielder. Fred needs McTominay playing alongside him. Phil Jones should never play for United again. The front three, yes, Gary Neville, there wasn't enough movement. But if you've got Fred and Pereira as the two midfielders behind you, why are you going to move? They're not going to find you. Our defence lacking. And the lack of leadership from Maguire and Lindelof and that whole defence to not see out that last five minutes was poor. But let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And what do you think the reaction and the fallout from that game is going to be this week?